with the ongoing effort to get ATVs and dirt bikes off of Philadelphia streets. Yesterday on Action News at 4, we told you how police were asking the public to help them confiscate the vehicles, violating the law. Yeah, but now some officials are questioning if prevention might be better than prosecution. Action News reporter George Solis live now in Center City, Philadelphia to explain what they mean by that, George. Right, Brian and Jeanette, the city cracking down on this long-standing problem. Some have argued it's actually gotten worse during the pandemic. At least one council member proposing a compromise to make sure everyone stays safe. No doubt you may have seen them on the streets of Philadelphia, often in large packs weaving in and out of traffic. The spectacle of ATV and dirt bike riders is one major Northeast American cities have been trying to curtail. Philadelphia is no exception. It's legal to ride these bikes. It's legal to own these bikes, but you are not allowed to have them on the city street. That last part clearly and blatantly disregarded by these operators. It's why Philadelphia police are actively working on getting them off the streets, especially if the bikes are spotted on city sidewalks or parking spots. These just a few images from their latest sweep. They're somewhere in their neighborhood where they know these bikes or these vehicles are being stored. Let us know and we're going to come and we're going to confiscate them. Police will not chase riders. The risk to officers, the operators, and the public is much too great. Even more so during the pandemic, as many restaurants have now expanded their seating to include the outdoors. It really creates a hazardous situation. Michael Harris, executive director of the South Street Headhouse District, like many neighborhood leaders, has been working with police to close off roadways, particularly on the weekends, in the hopes of keeping the large gatherings away. There's not the opportunity to um, race down the street or access the sidewalks illegally. That raises the question, where can they ride? Recently, City Council Member Alan Dom has paved the way to talks of a potentially sponsored ATV park in the city, an idea his colleague Council Member Mark Squilla is open to as long as all parties agree to play by the rules. If you really do want something like this, then you have to help us and work with us to, you know, um, make people realize that they could go there and use these facilities, but they can't do it and get there through uh, driving through the city streets. Now, officials tell me just last night, more than two dozen of these vehicles were taken off the streets along with a few arrests. Now, those talks for that proposed ATV park are expected to begin in October. We are live in Center City this afternoon. George Solis, Channel 6 Action News. Brian. Okay, George, thank you.